Hi guys, hello, hello, hello. <coughs> welcome, welcome to a brand new live from the Gel Mix page. People are joining, this is exciting. Haven't done a live in so long. Can y'all hear me okay? Is everything, is everything okay? Can y'all hear me? I think everyone can hear me, that's okay. We have a special guest. We'll join soon. I think I hope it, I hope it works. Otherwise, that's just going to be embarrassing because it's not going to work. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, sir. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing lovely, lovely. Is it 2 a.m. there for you now? Oh, Lord. Oh, no, it's 6 a.m. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's... I literally, I crawled out of bed like no joke. I literally, <laughs> like, can you see my eyes are like, <laughs> it's, worth it. it's worth it to chat. Okay. It's worth it. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Of course. Of course. Well, guys, welcome to our Instagram live with uh, Raphael. We are doing a post little Instagram live about the convention. So yeah. how experience, how was the convention for you? Because I, I had a blast. I think all the fans had a great time. Um, would you enjoy catching up with all the fans for the yeah. convention? It was absolutely a lot of fun. Uh, the fans were fantastic. It's always nice to chat with new people, getting to know new people, um, and also meeting people from all over the world uh, and how and seeing how you know how Lone Star brings a lot of you know bring brings a lot of people together. Um, there are like groups, communities, on online communities, uh, people that met through Lone Star, that met through the, the love of the show. And um, um, it's very nice. It's, it was lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have um, a favorite thing about, uh, so like, what's your favorite thing about meeting and connecting with the fans? Because I feel like there were so many stories, especially in like, the Q&A that we had, um, the All Cute Solo Q&A panel. There were so many like just uh, amazing fans with different um, backgrounds and it's just, what's it like connecting with all of them? Uh, you know, it's, 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 you just you just see how vast this world is and how each person digests the same storyline very differently. Uh, there are people that, are, you know, that agree. There are people that don't. There are people that disagree uh, with the way that uh, a storyline should go or, you know, a character, what a character does. But um, I think at the end of the day, it just, it just reignites the, um, that whatever you put out there, people are affected by it. Uh, and, and, you know, it's, it's of a healthy responsibility to, to acknowledge that. And so whenever you're chatting with fans and, and they tell you how much your character means to them and take that into consideration, it's, uh, for, for me, it's a sign, it's a huge sign of respect for my job to hear those things. So I really appreciate it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I feel like all the fans, like, I was seeing our comments throughout the whole day and, like, they just, they love you, they love your energy. It's just, you know, you bring just something, you just bring something to the to the table that, like, you know, no other people bring usually. Like, you and Ronan together just magic chemistry on the screen and, like, the fans really resonate with that. So it's really, really lovely. So you guys do a fantastic job. So well done, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, so was there a favorite extra or favorite panel of art the convention that you enjoyed the most? Um, you know, I'm going to say that I nailed that Pictionary thing, <laughs> but that was not my favorite. I would say that my favorite would be when all of the fans, all of a sudden, like there was a panel of like five, 10, 15 fans and I was there and everyone started talking about how how everyone wants to see Carlos almost die. And then everyone's spotting my death and everyone's yeah. spotting how I'm going to get hurt. And, and I was really cut off guard by that. I was like, wow, everybody loves Carlos, but everyone wants to see him die at the same time. I was like, Gee. <laughs> um, okay. Um, but I guess, I guess, but it was fun. It was fun. People, I mean, I kind of instigated, instigated, a little bit because I was like, ooh, what is that going to look like? Oh, tell me more. So that was you what I was 
seen people getting excited. Like, what do you have? Like a like, would you actually like to see Carlos get hurt, like in front of TK, or like would, would that something you'd like to happen? Since TK is always the one getting hurt, and you always have to, you know, be there for him. Would you like it to be obviously vice versa, the opposite way? Uh, yeah. yeah. In, in, you know, in terms of a storyline, I want to see TK shit his pants a little bit. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I want to see what that what that boy does when his man is you know kind of stranded or just just you know. I want to see the mess he makes. I want to see it. Um, yeah. So yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. <laughs> is there is there a theory that you've thought of about how you would want him to get hurt? I know you said you wanted it to happen on the wedding day. I remember some you said something about that, which like listen, I'm yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think, I think, you know, I feel like if Carlos were to get hurt on his wedding day, it would either have, like, and, and TK have to save him. It would be, like, on the way to the wedding, so he never makes it to the wedding. And then TK thinks that Carlos stood him up and, like, got cold feet. And it's just this chaos, this chaos. But actually, Carlos was trying to get to the wedding, but then there was an accident or something, something, something along those lines. And so yeah. many, many storylines happening of like, oh, he got cold feet. Oh, no, he's actually an accident. Oh, my God, how do I get there? I don't know. It's like, you know, going back and forth. Yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Do you reckon, like, TK, because he, he would know that Carlos would never have cold feet. Do you reckon he would be like, everyone would assume that Carlos has left? And he's like, no, like, Carlos would never do that. And he like, goes on a hunt to find him. You know, oh man, I really want, I really want TK to like, kind of just like have that slight fear of like, oh shit, is he getting cold feet? Like Carlos, of all people, Carlos. Uh, so I don't know. I feel like, I feel like, uh, see, if, if we instill that fear in TK that Carlos might have gotten cold feet, this shit would just explode. And that's yeah. what I want. That's exactly. <laughs> we went running to bring the emotional pain that you had to bring when he was lying in that hospital room in the coma, you know? <laughs> yes. Yes. We want to see some tears from Ronan that kind of manifest. Uh, no, maybe not on the wedding day, but we want to see regardless, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, right, I'll bring it back to the, to the con for a sec. So the Pictionary panel, mm. obviously, Raphael won, of course. Do you think they were well deserved to win? <laughs> I mean, what kind of question is that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> obviously, yeah. And yeah, I crushed that shit, you know. And then, yeah, yeah, nailed it. Yeah. And it's a bit of a draw you were. Like people told me, I'm like, oh yeah, and I remember seeing it in the first convention because I was part of the, I was like one of the audience, like lot the first time, and I was like, damn, and I forgot. So this time, I'm like. Shit, you can really draw, man. Like, you're incredible. What the heck? Yeah, Me? you. Oh, yeah. Lord. Oh, wow. You're being kind. You're being I... extremely kind. I don't think... Here's the thing. I like drawing, but it takes me time. When it's under 30 seconds, I'm like... <laughs> like, yeah. what, what? So, yeah. I did pretty well, considering. I mean, I thought you did okay. <laughs> I think I gave you some easy ones, though. But there were also some hard ones. I did. I did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. That was... <laughs> Wait, what? So you're pretty good at guessing the the drawings from your teammate. Yeah, D you think so? I I was I I I, I, I mean that lovely fan. She, I don't know what she, the extinguisher man. The like the fire, that I don't know what that was. I don't know. <laughs> that, that was. was She's like, I need to draw again. And then it was like, it was the first one was perfect, bless her soul. It was perfect the first one. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly, exactly. And then through like kind of a, almost like a pool, but with, with fires. And then she did a cross. I'm like, why? Is that a mistake? Like, that, was that? Anyway, it, it was fun. It was fun. It, it was, was so fun. Like, one of my favorites. There were so many great moments though. Like, that's what I love. Like, you get, Sitting down with you know you and Ronan and just you know everyone's chill everyone and everyone was really respectful which was nice everyone was just having a really good time. Yeah. Um, 
it just makes me, you know, makes me happy, makes you know that you guys had a great time too. And it's just, you know, it's just great to see. So yeah. I'm glad you yourself. Yeah, I did. I did. Like I said, it's great meeting fans. Um, uh, I felt so bad, like, because <laughs> I posted that video before the convention. I was like, I, I don't usually like doing conventions. And everyone in the convention said, I know you don't like doing them. I, know, I didn't say, like, I straight up, it was just like out of my own <laughs> anxiety sometimes. It was yeah. nothing because the fans were, uh, you know, uh, unkind. Or, no, obviously not, but everyone's super lovely. But everyone kept saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm glad to be here. I feel like some, sometimes the fans know how hard it can be, you know, to do these conventions because it can get very overwhelming sometimes. Right. And they just the effort that you put in. That's why they love you, you know, so, you know. Yeah. And I appreciate it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right, so season four is coming at some point. Yeah. Do do we see Detective Carlos in the in the card somewhere? Because I feel like this man needs his own storyline with Detective. I mean, sir, I'm just mm. saying. I'm just saying. Wait, 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 wait. What is it? This man needs his storyline for what? His own storyline for the detective to become detective. He needs his own detective storyline. Wow. Okay. I straight up thought. I straight up thought that you said we need him to become a detective because I want to call him sir. I mean, I mean, I can do that too. That's fine. That's fine. It can work both ways, sir. It's fine. <laughs> well, you know what? You know what? You can call Carlos, sir, any day. Um, I feel like that we need to see more of Carlos being a police officer before we change that to a button up, you know, to that sort of lifestyle, to that sort of mentality, because, you know, Carlos can be very methodical and very thinking and very heavy on the mind. And as long as I feel like he needs more experience, you know, he hasn't lived his life very much, or at least we haven't seen him uh, live his life as a police officer, as a, um, as a first responder as much as everybody else. So I think when we gain that perspective, uh, uh, of what Carlos looks like on the on the field consistently, I think we can grow more of a relationship with you know, with him becoming a detective. But hopefully not yet. Hopefully we'll see this guy be put on, through the fire. On he could start his journey, do you reckon, yeah. to become you know, yeah. maybe Angela Bassett could have another crossover with the Queen, the Goddess herself. I mean, that FaceTime. I, I mean, and I hope you know what I hope I hope Carlos does some shit like some bad shit and Angela comes and whoop his ass. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I want. F's up really badly. And then it's just like, come and like save the day or something. She's like, who was responsible for this? And he's like, <laughs> <I was. laughs> me. <laughs> I think there you go. Him. Yeah. Wait, I what's that? I couldn't see him like screwing up that badly. Only feels for TK though. Maybe. Oh. I there's, there's, look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there are options. There are options, okay? <laughs> plenty. Plenty of options. Plenty of like options. God's plan, bitch. Sorry. Anyways. Now, the Talos wedding. Everyone's talking about it. Right. Do you have a specific setting that you'd like it, that you, like, you've envisioned or anything? Oh, a specific setting. Um, uh, I don't know. Like, I remember fans were talking about, like, let's do it at the ranch. And I'm like, Carlos has a ranch. That'd be fun. Uh, <laughs> you know? Um, but that'd be, that'd, be, that'd be a lot of fun. The Reyes. The, yeah, someone said the Reyes Ranch right there. That'd be fun. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't really know. But I think as long as we showcase the culture of Texas, I think as, as long as we show like these two cultures coming together, because really it's like a new, like a Northeast culture and a Southern cu culture, the Southwest, and also like Mexican culture and like the Latino culture and the Tejano culture. That's what I want. Like, that's what I really, really, really want. I want that. I want, 
I want, I want, you know, I, I want that on the screen too, because I feel like it, it can feel so, everything can feel just like, um, like America is so beautiful and it it's, consists of so many different cultures that create, that has created the country of the United States. And if we, if we, if we don't endeavor to show that, or show a face of it, a side of it, then it all becomes just the same. It all just becomes, oh, it's just, it's just a wedding. But I think for Carlos, you know, his culture means a lot to him. His, his parents mean a lot to him. His family means a lot to him. And I think we should see that, you know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I think the fans would love that. I think we need more, in my opinion, I think we need more ba um, Carlos backstory. We've got a little bit, but I think we need even more. I, believe, I, think, I think we can delve even deeper into Carlos and his backstory and with his family, especially. So I think that'd be really interesting to showcase a bit of that at the wedding as well. Right. Like, um, but yeah, I think the, the wedding is going to be the biggest thing that the fans are going to be looking forward to. If it happens in the new season, I hope maybe the end of season four, maybe, but you, know, the, you said a Tarlos family. I mean, I mean, no, but that is interesting, sir. That's very interesting. <laughs> it is? Five, season six. Maybe oh. it does. I, yeah. I mean, I'm, here for it. I'm, I'm definitely here for it. I definitely signed up for it. I signed up for it, 100%. Yes, definitely. All right, so finally, um, would you, if, I mean, if there is a possibility of a third convention, a first hero's, First Responders Heroes 3 convention, would you be interested potentially if we happen to make another convention and hold another convention for the fans? Would it be something you may be interested in? <laughs> uh, you, know, it's always, <laughs> you know, I think it's always fun meeting fans and it's, it's, a, beautiful, it's a beautiful interaction to... Because you're not only meeting fans of the show, for me, it's a little bit awkward to have Rafael Silva fans. Um, yeah. And because I don't, I'm me, you know, I, I don't consider myself that fucking special. I really don't. Uh, so it's a little awkward to have people interested in finding out what I'm, what I'm doing in my life. So, uh, so, but they also talk about, they also talk about how just the presence of this body on TV and how this body and this mind thinks helps them be themselves. And if, and if, and if this is an outlet, a means to, to express that, then, you know, I'm always open to meeting new people and, you know, chatting and, and, um, and finding out, you know, their backstory and, and um, meeting great people like you, Adam. Yes. Ah, oh, you're too kind, Raph. You're too kind. You're too kind. You're a great person, okay? We love you. We all love you, okay, everyone? And you say you're not special, sir. So you're very special to us. Thank you. Okay? No, but it's not true. You're very special. You're a gem. You're a light and keep shining, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That means a lot. That means a lot. Uh, uh, thank you so much for joining us or for Jail Mix Me, us, everybody, for this live. Um, we appreciate you very much. And yeah. thank you for a lovely day. And we'll see you for season four or whenever. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, thank you so much for having me. And, uh, yeah. Take care. Thank you. Bye.